Oh man. All right. That's big, man. Woo. Lovely snapper. Is that a snapper? Lovely pink. We did it. Hey everyone, parking for another massive adventure. We are just loading the car up now, putting all the bits and pieces in it, uh, getting everything ready, and we're gonna be off on our way up to Dirk Hartog Island. Fingers crossed we can get up there. This rain that we've got and this gloomy weather has came down the coast and closed the roads off. So I am fingers crossed, praying, cross fingers, toes, everything that the roads are opened up and that we can get through to Steep Point, get on the barge with the car and over to Dirk Hardog Island. So I can't wait and I am really, really nervous about whether the roads are gonna be open or not, but we're just gonna pack it and send it and hope for the best. Let's get this car loaded. We are locked and loaded, cars packed. We are ready to go and get out of this miserable weather. It's uh, fingers crossed that there's some sunshine and something a bit warmer than this because it is freezing and it is wet and it is gross. Let's go find some better weather. So many bugs. Getting there, Ryan. Getting there. Halfway. Woo. Halfway, halfway. Look at all the bugs. made it into Steep Point. Um, it was a pretty hectic day yesterday. Um, camped on the side of the highway, managed to get in to Steep Point early this morning and it has not stopped raining so I'm pretty sure that they're going to close the road um, completely uh, after the amount of rain that's been happening today. So sitting in the car at the moment just waiting for the barge. The barge is over there at Dirk Hardog Island. You can only just make it out but there is rain everywhere. We're gonna make it to the island, Rhino. Yeah, finally. It's a bit of a mission, but we're going that way. We're getting there. We're about halfway up the island now on our journey up. So to break it up a bit, I don't like doing the whole three hour drive because it is a big island, takes a long time. And it ends up being a really, really big day if you're just hammering your car for hours up to the top. So we'll take a break. We've uh, stopped at this magic little spot here. I fished in the past and got some good snapper. So Ryan hasn't got himself a size snapper off the rocks before. 
and uh, I reckon we're gonna try and tick that one off for him today. Try and get him a good one. Hopefully we can get one up around 70 centimeters, but uh, we'll give it a go. Try and get him a good snapper off the rocks here. Maybe some other bits and pieces and uh, break the drive up and get a few fish. Well, we're all rigged up now. We're gonna be running some four inch grubs. They are snapper candy. I reckon they're gonna do the trick. So we're gonna go cast out onto the edge of the weed. There's some rock and some weed, but the snapper should be sitting out in the sand. So we'll go cast out there, do some big casts, see if we can pull a snapper and tick that one off nice and early for Ryan. Fish on. Little snapper, first cast. <coughs> Whoa. First cast, little snapper. All right, let's get a big one. Room. There's better. Oh no. What is going on? What have I hooked? Ryan's on. No. There he is. Oh. That's what we're after, Ryan. Nice, Pinky. See you, Mr. Snapper. We've just walked down the coast a little bit. The tide's really low, so the water's not very deep, and it was a little bit difficult to get to the deeper water where the bigger fish were. But uh, we've walked down a bit further. It is crystal clear. Beautiful little drop off there on that edge, so we'll uh, give it a few casts here and see what we can pull out. Yeah, yeah boy. That's better. That's a bit flashing down there. Can you? Yeah. Just passed out last week. Whoop. <laughs> on the grub. All right, let's try and get a big one, man. Yeah. I won't muck around with the little ones. Give me that hook back. See ya. <laughs> High diving. Got a few fish. Nothing super decent, but a uh, good way to break up the drive to the top of the island. So we'll uh, pack everything up, continue on our way, and uh, yeah, good little stopover just to get a couple of fish and nice little warm up for hopefully what's to come. Let's uh, keep going to the top of the island. Coming into camp now, finally been driving up this island for feels like hours, but we're just pulling into our home for the week. We made it. Woo! Home for the week. Back to the Hartog Hilton. <laughs> but we got super keen. We've uh, wandered over from camp. Camp's about 150 meters away from us. And um, we've come and had a look at the water and the water is black. It is crystal clear, perfect conditions for spinning, for casting for mackerel. So um, I'd balloon if the wind was a bit different direction, but it's not really the best. So we're just gonna cast some lures around and spin, try and get some mackerel, 
try and tick that one off nice and early for Ryan. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a good go while the water's amazing because we've got some swell coming in a couple of days that might mess that up. So try and make the most of it now and we can go and fish for other things when the water's dirty that doesn't matter so much. So we'll uh, get stuck into it and try and pull a mackerel out of this water while it looks good. Ryan, good Mac. Yes. Tighten your drag up a little bit. Yep. Yep, take it easy, take it easy. Okay, keep that line tight. Keep him coming, keep him coming. Okay, stand there if you can. No, no, keep him coming. Lift him up if you can. Okay, back off, back off, back off, back off. Yep, oh, it's a shark, Mac. Oh, a little fusilier's down there. All right. Tighten up, tighten up. Line to me and take the tension off a little bit. Walk back to give me the line. Okay. Yep. Okay. Tighten up, tighten up. Tighten up. Pull really hard and keep these head up. Okay. Don't wind. Open the bail arm. All right. Shark mackerel run. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. First fish of the trip, Ryan. Very nice. Nice shark mackerel. So not the best eating fish, but that's all right because we wanted some fresh bait to try for some snapper or something tonight. So this will work out absolutely perfect. Sweet. Nice work, man. Let's get a Spanish. Yeah, Spanish next. Spanish that was a good warm up. That yeah. was perfect. Yeah. Nice, dude. Lift. That's it. Oh, yep. Nice run. Thank you. Starting to see some fish. Ryan's got himself a lovely snapper. That one's coming back for dinner by the looks. Yep. Sweet. Bigger one. Day one is going well. There we go. Yep. Whoa! Double hook up. <laughs> go, Ryan. No, no, nah, nah, you lost him. I right, drop it back down then. Wait up. Whoa! Oh no, nah, mine got eaten. I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, hard work. This must be a better one. You got him? Nah. Uh, we had to. Ryan dropped his. Oh, I've still got mine. It's going hard. What is it? Oh, it's a snapper that did get eaten by the shark. Yeah. Whoa. Shark got him. Shark got him. Brian's on. Can he beat the sharks? Lift and wind, man. Lift and wind. <laughs> Keep going, go, go. Don't slow down. Oh, did I lose him? No, no, no. He's still there. No. He's not there. We'll see if you've still got a hook. No, it's still got a hook. Pulled hooks on it. All right, we'll try again. That's a good fish. That's better. That's better. Much better. Yeah, that's better. Better snapper. Oh, don't do that.
lovely snapper. Good way to end the day. That's uh, that's gonna be it for us for day one. This one can go back and uh, we're gonna go chill out, have an early night and get ready for a big one. Hopefully get those mackerel tomorrow.